Project Nigel. <laughs> well, it is time to get my fingers dirty working on Project Barry. Project Barry and its non-working clutch. Do you know what though? Just the cold. The cold really, really slows me down. It does my boxing. <laughs> Honestly, it does. Before I do that though, I've got a steering column to take out of Jeffrey for uh, my friend David who's coming round to collect it. And I want to do it before he gets here, otherwise he'll think I'm useless and incompetent. A good start. Yeah, I've walked down here with the wrong piece. Well, that's my friend David gone. We had quite a chat actually, but the point is that uh, although chatting and working time might not seem to be a very productive thing to do, he is also um, quite a knowledgeable man. So picked up a few tips, plus sold some items. That with a bit of exhaust from before, today's going quite well. Now, I need to crack on with getting that gearbox out. Doing the clutch on a two on four, very easy job. But will it be for me? Battery out, easy. Clutch cable, should be quite easy. Um, that wheel off, and the drive shaft popped out. Should be easy. Bottom ball joint as well. And just so expecting it not to work and for things to go wrong. But I won't, I won't know until I start. So I need to get started. There's the wheel trim off and now I need to undo this big central nut and that's usually the start of things not going quite as well as I'd like. Oh, see? Oh. That came undone. That's not normally what happens. Wheel off, hub nut undone. Oh, I need my ball joint splitter, which is brand new, as you can see. And because it's brand new, I've only just discovered what an amazing resonance this thing has. You might not find that very interesting, but I find it fascinating. Starting to get to the stubborn parts now. Splitting the ball joint. Hmm, probably doesn't help that I've had nothing to eat all day. If I could have something to eat now, it might help me think a bit more clearly. Just like having a cup of tea normally does. I've got myself a cheese and onion pasty in the fridge. And although I don't really want to eat it cold, it's much better than nothing. But while I was washing my hands, I managed to drop the thing on the floor. Still going to eat it though. There we go, it's finally off. I've just got to poke it through that hole and pull it apart. I managed to find my decent sized hammer in the end, which made the job just a little bit easier. But uh, you can't quite see it here, but it is going to be going dark soon. <laughs> and the other thing is, um, well, I was eating my pie before. I managed to get just a bit, I don't know how I managed this, but I managed to get a bit of pie stuck in the charging orifice. So I had to dry that off and get that blown out. <laughs> it wouldn't be any good this if I knew what I was actually doing. Well, that's me walking home because um, obviously Project Kev has got to stay at work until, well, it'll be not taxed us from tomorrow, so I can't really use this anyway. And then hopefully in the new year at some point, I'll start doing the head gasket. Obviously I've got nowhere near done enough today. Uh, I didn't get done what I wanted to do, but that's nothing new, is it? Actually, maybe not. Anyway, I'm actually quite enjoying my walk home now. I wasn't really anticipating it. I was just thinking it was going to be horrible and cold. And it is quite cold but once you get moving everything's super duper. I'm perfectly happy with it. I 
really is very strange to think that this is New Year's Eve and it's going dark walking down the road and not, not seeing any drunkards yet and that's the first year I've ever noticed that normally they, they're out spilling out of the pubs everywhere making a nuisance of themselves riot vans everywhere all this other kind of traditional nonsense it's kind of nice I don't know if it's refreshing or not I don't know what it is different seems I've smoked too soon just seeing quite a few people walking around with cases of cheap lager instead going home to have their secret parties I think maybe I figured out what the police are all about now what they're doing here they're looking out for people who walking down the street with cases of beer but no tin of beans to substantiate a proper shop they shouldn't be doing it should they